Hi, I'd like to tell you about an exciting new feature in GitLab 13.1, Code Intelligence. Code Intelligence is something we're probably all familiar with from working in our local development environments. When you hover over a function, you often can get a definition, see where it's defined and find other references to that function. And in 13.1, we're adding our first version of Code Intelligence, which includes the symbol documentation and go to definition. Uh, we're building on top of the language server index fo format, uh, which comes from language servers um, and Sourcegraph has done a lot of great work on this. And we want to make it easy for everyone to access this uh, information. And we've done that um, in a really simple and easy way that I'd like to show you. But first, let me show you how the feature looks once it's configured. Here's a side project um, I'm working on. And if we go to one of the files, we can see that there's now a whole lot of uh, symbols that are underlined. And this means there's code intelligence. If I click on it, I'll see a definition. In this case, there isn't one, but I can go to, sorry, documentation, but I can go to the definition to learn more. You can see it's defined up here. If this was defined in a different file. It would take me directly to that file. I can go to a more complicated file where I've got some JS doc um, tags, and they also are understood by um, this uh, language server Fire, uh, language server index generator, um, but your like language like Go might support a different uh, kind of documentation format. So here I've added some tags, and if I click, I can see that I've now got some type annotations, which I otherwise wouldn't get. And if I click on a uh, argument, I can see the argument documentation that's coming from here. So I set this up uh, using the uh, ELSIF node project. Uh, which is maintained by Sourcegraph. Thanks for your work on this one. And it only took me about 30 seconds to enable this and configure it correctly. In my GitLab CI YAML file, I created a new CI job called Code Intelligence, but you can call it whatever you'd like. The important thing that it does is it generates an ELSIF file. Um, the default uh, output of the library that I'm using is dump.elsif. And importantly, what I've done is I've declared an ELSIF artifact, and that tells the GitLab CI runner to uh, process this file and do something with it. Uh, and that's important because that's how we get the code intelligence out of the CI job and into GitLab. And so the command itself was one line, very simple. We run the ELSIF generator. I provide the path to my source code in this project. In this case, it's the lib directory and the test directory. So I get coverage across the, all of my source code. Um, and then I need a few extra arguments because this is a JavaScript project and not a TypeScript project. Um, and then I also needed one additional dependency, which is the uh, node ELSIF generator. That's all I needed to do. The job's very quick. And now I've got code intelligence. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. Really excited about this improvement and we hope to add support for more languages in the future, but let us know how you go and uh, please check it out.